What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here, and I'd like to welcome you guys to the 1UP Box unboxing for the month of May 2016. I'm ready to get into this. I hope you guys are as well. So without further ado, let's pop this puppy open. <gasps> oh, cool. There's more in here than I would have imagined. All right, well, as we know, uh, the 1UP boxes don't have a book with, you know, showcasing other things. They just have a little piece of paper that shows what's in it. So because we don't like spoiling things, we're going to go ahead and look at it ourselves. First thing I'm going to grab, actually the one thing I am going to grab is, uh, I, okay, I'm not going to lie, I, I do want to see the sheet just to get the theme, if I can find it. See, it's right at the bottom and I feel like I'm ruining the surprise and all that crap and I don't want to do it. I just want to see. I can always pull, like I said, I can pull it out, get the name. Ah, okay. It's RPG. Okay, I remember seeing it, but I always end up forgetting. that I'm so forgetful sometimes. So anyway, RPG is the theme. Now, let's go ahead and do what we do every time and take a look at the t-shirt. I don't see much. All I know is it's baby blue or powder blue, whatever you want to call it. So let's take a little gander what this is. All right, now I'm not familiar with this, uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat, and, um, wait a minute, oh, it is, oh, that is what it is, I wasn't sure, but it's essentially an Assassin's Creed shirt, except with, rep, like, little furry animals, so you have, like, what looks like a panda, who's the assassin, and then you have a fox trying to chop down the bamboo that he's climbing on. And he's ready to pounce. That's kind of adorable and funny. So, But I don't know if that's the case, though, because that's not really RPG. But it's certainly, that is Assassin's Creed. I know that for a fact. So anyway, we're going we're gonna to try this puppy on with the power of the internet and the magic of the internet. So, Or I should say magic of editing, not necessarily the internet. But you don't know that. It could be the internet that, that it's all about. So a little flip, a little fold, and a... Oh! Ah! All right, I had to... Control it. I'm getting better at it. So anyway, there's the shirt for you guys. Fits nicely as per usual. That's kind of adorable, isn't it? All right. So the t-shirt is done. We have donned the apparel. Let's move on. Now this one is just right on top, so I got to take it out. Now, I love it when I get pops, okay? Now we have a pop, and I don't remember getting a pop in one up box. I think this is one of the first pops we get, but for those of you who are fans of World of Warcraft, we have Sylvanas. I've, I've played World of Warcraft one time in my life, but that's it. I never played it any other time. So, I'm not familiar with who this is. Uh, obviously, she's a important character. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this guy and take a look at it closely. See, I, like I said, man, I love getting pops. They're, they're the coolest things. And we have a collection going at this point, you know, me and my girlfriend, so... Uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a little look up. Some of you may already have her, but I do not because I don't play World of Warcraft, but it's still a nice addition. Oh, and she, her head's a little big for her. Look, actually, ooh, that's a bit of a fault. Hopefully she'll be able to stand. Dude, look at this. Why would you do that? They made her uneven. I'm actually not kidding. Her feet aren't even. And her cape actually comes down this little spike here that's a little bit longer. So from the looks of things, you have to balance her on her left foot and her cape. But by then, she's too far over. I don't want to break it. That is actually really stupid. I'm baffled because not everybody keeps them in the box. There's no room. I take all of mine out. This, these things are going to kind of be like, um, what you would call it, beanie babies. You remember in the 90s and early 2000s, everyone was buying those puppies because everyone's like, oh, they're going to be worth so much. Well, guess what? They ain't worth jack. So I feel like that's what's going to happen with pops. Uh, everyone's going to like want to keep them in their box and they're going to be worth something, but they're not. So that's why I take them out. Plus, they're easier to display when you take them out. But yeah, like that is dumb. I don't want to break it, but I'm, I'm trying to push it down. Yeah, she's got. A, that is just stupid. I've actually never seen a pop that's been done that. Does any, do any of you guys have Sylvan? Is it Sylvanus? Yeah, Sylvanus 
And if you do, is, is your feet meant to be like that? I just want to see if I'm missing anything. There's like a little, ah, but there is a little foot post. Oh, we'll polish my ass and serve me a milkshake. There it is. This, she actually gets a little stand. All right, I'm jumping the gun. There you go. Okay, so they did that on purpose. It's all good. She gets a stand. Honestly, first pop I've ever seen that has a stand. Now she can stand. So we are laughing. Sorry about that, guys. I feel like an idiot. All right, next up, and I like this. It's a sticker set that's basically emojis. Emoji Assassin's Creed hybrid. Take a look at that. That is fantastic, is it not? Look at that. <laughs> Give you guys a nice close look. That's hilarious. I don't know if these are decals or if they're actually emojis. It's hard to say. Or sorry, decals or if they're actually stickers. They're two different things. Stickers don't like to come off later. Decals are reappliable and they come off. So that's what I like about them. Or decals. That's what, how they're known in the US anyway. So that, that's pretty neat. So there is, a, I'm surprised there's an Assassin's Creed theme here because it's not an RPG at all. Mm. Mind you, there are elements of RPGs, like when you upgrade and you get weaponry and whatnot, but that's about it. All right, so the next item on the list, we have ourselves a, this looks exactly like a uh, Skyrim pin. Okay. One up box. I'm gonna take this out of the packaging so you guys can see. Hold on a second. Exclusive Viking pin. But dude, does it not look like a Dragonborn helmet? And look, is that not Dragonborn? That looks like the Dragonborn helmet from Skyrim. But it's his exclusive Viking pin. I guess you could make that argument, but... I've never seen a Viking helmet that looks exactly like the Dragonborn helmet. That is weird, man. Here, I'll give you guys another look just to show that I ain't bullshitting you. Like, that is a Dragonborn pin. Come on, one up. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I don't. I, I just don't appreciate that when there's like a blatant copy and they claim it as their own. You know what I mean? But I guess that they don't call it a Dragonborn pen. They're not actually breaking any rules or anything like that. So. Okay. So this next item. Oh sweet. Oh cool. I was like, there better be follow goodies in here, man. And there's a follow goodie, even if it's just a bookmark. Damn it, I like it. Hold on. Just give me a sec while I pop this out. So we have a bookmark. Honestly, I don't know what happened to all my bookmarks. I don't read enough book, books to mark them, and when I do read them, I finish whatever I finish in pretty much one sitting. Um, but yeah, we have ourselves a Fallout holographic. I'm just trying to see. It's basically, oh, it's like a save, it's like the main menu. It's got like the menu on the side, I'll show you in a second. It's got the menu, it says continue, new load, settings, crew, and quit, so from Fallout 4. It's got your level, which happens to be uh, one three one three three seven, very clever. And it says save successful, so it's like you're saving your place. You know, save successful. Ten easy ways to conquer the world. Is that what that says? Oh yeah, that's why they zoomed it in. I would have been I would have been more impressed if it said wasteland uh, survival guide on it. Not so much ten ways to conquer the world. That's kind of weird. But I'll give you guys a look. It's it's holographic, like I said, so it's tough to kind of see it, but kind of give you a bit of a reflective look with the green tussle. The back is just all black. But yeah, a little follow, a little, if you look at the, if you look at the Vault Boy, he's more cartoonish uh, than normal. But that's nice, I like that. All right, I'll get this out of the way. Uh, one Up Pin, May RPG. You guys will look there. All right, and there's one last item here. I'm not sure what this is. Just a minute. All right, introducing our new t-shirt line, One Up Buddies. OneUpBuddies.com. Expect to see these cute animals dressed up as characters from your favorite video games, movies, and anime. Monthly selfie contest. Take a selfie wearing your new One Up Buddies shirt. So that's what this is, One Up Buddies. So you got these cute animals dressed up in, you know, they're basically cosplaying your, uh, you know, various uh, pop culture. So that's kind of neat. Uh, post it on Instagram with the hashtag One Up Box and One Up Buddies. Two winners will be randomly chosen to each receive three Assassin's Creed Funko Pop vinyl filters and four winners will be announced on June 6th, 2016. That's coming up here. Celebrate our launch. We are offering $10 off, okay, etc, etc. So, if you want to get yourself a loot crate or you want, or sorry, not a loot crate, 
that's blasphemy in a one-up box unboxing. If you want to get yourself a one-up box or just even want to get the shirts from it and you don't want the box, we can go to oneupbuddies.com. So if you've ever seen any of my shirts, well, not all of them, but the ones with the cute little critters on them, then um, yeah, you can definitely go here and check it out. So uh, now that we've actually looked at everything, I'm going to grab the RPG thing and read off each one of the items. All right, so actually, the Pops, there was one of three World of Warcraft figures. You either had Arthas, Sylvanas, which I got, or one of the, or a Murloc. And I, I know what a Murloc is actually from um, a few guy, like a few, uh, like YouTube channels and things like that. That's about it. Uh, yeah. Also, the okay, it's just put your game face on and carry your team to victory with these amazing World of Warcraft Funko Pop vinyl filters. Why do I keep saying filters? It's not a damn filter. It's a figure. I'm sorry. Number two, the Viking pin. Let, the, let this ancient pin passed down from a long generation of Vikings remind you uh, how mankind prevailed in their battles against dragons and evil sorcerers. Dude, I don't know. That just looks like Dragonborn to me. Um, they didn't put a number three beside it on their page. They didn't print number three, but I'm going to read it because they sort each item by a number. Vault bookmark. Always carry this handy bookmark with you and never forget important knowledge that you need to survive in a post-apocalyptic world. If anything, I would buy, the, I think they actually made a Wasteland Survival Guide and I would probably use this bookmark whilst reading that. Like a real, real Wasteland Survival Guide one, so that, that's cool. Uh, and number four, Assassin Emoji Stickers, so yeah. Uh, express a wide range of emotions as these emoji stickers give you a glimpse of the greatest assassins in human history. So it's every assassin uh, yet. So you've got, you know, uh, you have Altair, you have Ezio, you know, yeah, pretty much all of them at this point from the looks of things. That's cool. All right, and finally, the t-shirt, exclusive one-up buddies shirt, the Fury Assassins. Meet your new friendly sidekicks as they try to one-up each other in the mischievous yet adorable design from our brand new clothing line. Stay tuned for the next adventure. So it makes me wonder if they're going to do one-up buddies every single month. So you're going to have like a cute t-shirt every month from one-up box. Lately, that's what it's been. But maybe we need to switch it up. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But that is it, guys. RPG for one up box. I don't know. I, I, I always like getting pops for the collection. Those are always nice. It's always nice to get a shirt. Uh, not a bad one. I'm a little upset over the blatant ripoff, you know, of this pin. Like, come on, man. I, I don't like it when people or companies or whatever steal an idea and it's so blatant and it's just, and they try to cover it up. It's pretty brutal, but. Sometimes I guess that kind of stuff happens. I'll let that one slide because it's just a pin, but everything else is pretty cool. They're stepping up their game like they would have never put a pop in there before. They used to do plushies. Um, personally, I'd rather pops than plushies. Like so far, this is the first one up box I think that hasn't received a plushie yet, and that's something. That's crazy. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this one up box for May. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to get your own one up box subscription, there's a link in the description to go do so. Before you sign up though, at the promo screen, type in the word awesome. All that information is in my description, so just copy and paste it, you're good to go. Um, and that'll save you 10% uh, off your order, whichever one you go with. Uh, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you haven't yet, be sure to follow and like my pages for social media, those will be down below in the description, and I'll play at the end card of this video. Also, if you're interested, you wanna get yourself a shirt or hoodie from my shop, be sure to go check out the description. Spreadshirt shop link is down there if you're interested in that. Thank you guys so much again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. We'll see you guys later. Who the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, no needs violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist style. Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying. So we driving by your back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? And I see them haters Try to run with us They don't need inhalers Gotta breathe them hard Just like the beta players Grab your respirators Night invaders get life savored Mass on for the shooters Move like trash to bed intruder Got that Glock and got them woofers Just press play I'll keep it moving Who is Knox? Till you damn fools Keep it fresh like canned food There ain't nothing we can't do So tune into that damn kill Yeah It was never Ever Again.